Hey y'all, it's HCG Outdoors, and today I'm going to be showing y'all a haul of what I got from the local bin store, and today was $1 a day, so if you don't know what a bin store is, so basically, they are closed one day, and they get stocked up on a bunch of stuff that has maybe been returned, or people didn't want, and so the first day that everything's put out is $7, then it goes down to the last day's a quarter. We just went on dollar day. So they still had a bunch of stuff. And they have a whole bunch of fishing stuff because we live near the lake. And so I got tons of stuff for only, I spent $5 and got 15 different fishing stuff. So I was going to show all of that to you right now. So let's get started. All right, so these aren't in any kind of order of when I got them. I mean, these are all today, but I'm just going to say the first thing I got because that makes the most sense except it doesn't but it does to me um so these are pounder these are big like texas rig kind of style hooks and i'm excited to use these because i don't know that i've used texas rigging hooks this big before these are huge then also pounder i got these big big old hooks right here and these weren't even the um these weren't even the biggest size that they had. They had the the um, tiny ones, and then they had really big ones, but the tiny ones you could probably catch like a brim on. They were really tiny. So these were kind of a little bit big, but not as small as a brim hook. So I think these will be good to use because large mouths, they have large mouth, and they can get their mouth around that. Even a small one could get their mouth around that easily. Then I got this Berkeley Power Bait. Oh, and don't pay attention to these price tags. These are just the price that they were before they came to this store. So I paid $5 again for all of this stuff. So um, these were $5 when wherever they were originally sold. So for the price of this, I bought all this stuff. So really everything was about... 33 cents ish so um these are berkeley power bait i don't know the purple maybe the old kind or maybe it's like the max scent it says max scent on the back but these look like a good color this like it's kind of like green pumpkin i guess a purple yeah green pumpkin purple flake all right next up is i got the z-man the last tech these have like these little brown stuff in it. I think that's just the scent that's in them. I love the feel of the Elastec. Um, but these are just little like swim baits. And then these are the same thing, just in white. And they also have little joints in them. I don't know if y'all can tell. I got this, um, this Jean Laru. Um, these are white crawls. I've never used white crawls before. I usually prefer to stick with a darker color, but I thought it wouldn't hurt to give it a try. Then I got this H2O Express, which is like the Academy brand. This one fourth ounce buzz plot bait. Then also H2O Express is this thumping mullet. These are swim baits. But you, you can kind of see it. See the little dots in there? Oh, wait. You can see them if I move it. I don't know how good you can see it. But you can see it. You can hear it. It makes a rattling noise. And I didn't even know that till I was getting home. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Yeah, I didn't even read that. It includes glass rattles. I didn't even listen to that. I got three different colors. These these you can really see them in there, so you can see them when I move them. This only got one, so I don't know. You can really hear that though. <laughs> then here is another color with the, like it's like a chartreuse tail. Chartreuse tails. I like those. They they're pretty good. Then I got these Berkeley swivels. I've actually. Y'all may laugh at me. I've never used a Carolina rig, and my name's Carolina. I mean, I've used just about 
any kind of fishing rig, any kind of, I mean, I'm, I do just about anything in fishing, but I've never used a Carolina rig before because we never just worried with all like the beads and swivels and all that, and then the leader. But then I got all of this stuff today because all this was just a dollar, all of this. And so I decided, well, I'm gonna learn how to use a Carolina rig. <laughs> I mean, that's my name. Might as well learn to use one. So I got all this stuff. So then these next two items are things that I think are going to have their own video because they are really weird lures. Like, I don't know that I'll ever find these again. These are old lures and these, like my mom said this, these are going to like catch a hundred fish and I'm gonna lose it one day and then, or like I'm gonna go one time and I'm going to catch 20 fish and then I'm gonna lose it and then I'll never find it again. <laughs> but this is the Paul Brown's origin, floating original. So y'all look at this and you're like, well, it kind of looks like a stick bait, but it's like squishy. It's the soft plastic. It's just like soft plastic, like floating soft plastic. And I've never seen something like this before. And also this hover shad. It's also soft plastic. It looks, it's kind of got the profile of a rattle trap almost, but it's like soft plastic. And it says that you can fish it in ultra shallow water. So that was all that I got. All of this stuff, five dollars at the local Ben store. So if y'all have a Ben store nearby and you live near a lake, or maybe if you don't live near a lake, you may be able to find a bunch of good fishing, fishing gear and fishing lures. Um. Well, I think that's all for this video. Thank y'all guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to ring the bell for notifications when we post our next video. Jesus loves y'all. Bye.